Have you heard me say that insomnia happens when we have become afraid of being awake only to say, wait a minute, I seem to be afraid to sleep. I seem to be afraid to fall asleep. So which is it? If so, this video is for you because this very question was brought up to our attention by Tom Tom. And when Tom Tom brought this up, I was like, we haven't talked about this before. That's unusual. It, it, it was kind of surprising to me because it actually comes up every now and then. And so we'll jump into this in a second. But first, a big, big, big thank you to Akshay. Thank you, Akshay, for being our, the latest sleep hero. And a sleep hero is someone who supports the movement on Patreon. So thanks so much, uh, Akshay. It means the world. And, you know, uh, very quickly here, it's very timely because next week we will reveal uh, the specific project that is going to be supported by uh, our patron uh, members. Uh, you know, the, the reason we, we, you know, made the patron available was really that people asked, hey, they said, hey, Daniel, I, I would like to contribute. So, I, you know, I um, created this Patreon page. But without having any particular kind of like, you know, goal or like any, you know, direction. So, uh, but now we do. Now we have something really exciting that I'm going to reveal uh, next week. But anyway, th thanks so much, Akshay. And now to our, to the question. We are going to look at this um, comment from Tom Tom, And it is a, it is a comment on the Insomni Insight from this week. Uh, where the thumbnail says, problem staying uh, asleep. It is the... Uh, the, the sleep maintenance episode. And Tom Tom wrote the following. Hey, Coach Daniel, I want to say that I've been having much better nights this past couple months. Thanks to your videos. So glad to hear that. Although they're still bad nights. I know they're just temporary. Wonderful again to hear. There's one question that I still have, and it's the fear of awareness upon falling asleep. I'm confused of it. It's the fear of falling asleep or is the fear of wakefulness or both? I hope you read this. You're very appreciated. So are you, Tom Tom. Thank you so much for, for sending this, uh, uh, sending uh, in this uh, comment. And um, again, it really made me think, oh, this is something we really should talk about. So here we go. Let's start here. We are, when I say we, we, we I mean we humans, we humans, and, and probably, by the way, other mammals as well, we are designed to be afraid to sleep when our brain perceives that we are in danger, when our brain perceives, you know, right, rightfully so, or when it's confused, it doesn't really matter. When our brain just thinks that, oh, this is a dangerous situation, we are designed to be afraid to sleep in that situation. And we can prove this quite easily if we just imagine the following scenario. Imagine falling asleep while driving. How does it sound? How does that idea sound? How does it make you feel the idea of falling asleep while driving it feels scary. It feels scary to us. So we can see that again, we're designed to find it, you know, scary to sleep when we are in some type of dangerous situation. Now, insomnia happens, and this is, you know, what, uh, what I started with in the intro here. Insomnia happens when our brain, brain has mistaken wakefulness as a threat. You know, when we identify a grizzly bear as a threat, that's really helpful because we run away or or hide and that leads us to, to survive. But when our brain identifies being awake as a threat, you know, it's not a real threat. It's not something we can hide from or escape from. So any attempts to do that by, you know, taking melatonin or medication or sleep, you know, sup, sup, supplements or blackout curtains or anything like that, it just reinforces that there is a threat and keeps us in some struggle. So that's why insomnia happens. Now, now we can put this together and we can see the following. As we by default are afraid to sleep, when in the presence of danger, and we have, you know, and we, and, and insomnia happens when the brain has a mistake in being awake uh, as, as dangerous, we can actually be afraid both to sleep and to not sleep. This is actually what happens. We are afraid to sleep when we're in danger. And when the, the brain has mistaken wakefulness as being dangerous, we are actually afraid to sleep because we are afraid of being awake. So I think, uh, you know, to me, clearly the answer to Tom Tom and anyone else uh, with this question is it is actually both. Now, you know, the next thing I want to share here, I, I, I actually hesitated a lot because I, I it feels like I'm throwing in something kind of completely unrelated, but I couldn't help it because I think to, to some people in the audience, 
this this can be really helpful to to see that there's a sort of another topic that is that is very adjacent to the one we're talking about. And and, and so the, here's the thing: fear to fall asleep or to sleep in a perceived dangerous situation is something we all have. That's just built into us, right? Now, fear of sleeping, fear of the process of sleep is different. And we call this somniphobia. And this is also quite common. This is when our brain has been in this kind of frazzled state and it's it's uh, just looking for kind of something that, uh, to, to keep us safe from. And then it can look like, oh, the process of sleep, that's strange. It's mysterious. We don't have any control when we sleep. Oh, suddenly sleep seems like a threat, right? And, and so that's that we call somniphobia. And we have some content on that that I, I hope you'll find helpful if this sounds familiar to you. However, the reason I decided to actually still, you know, put this slide in, it was that the answer uh, in terms of how to meet the situation when we have like, we're both afraid to sleep and to be awake, or we are afraid of sleeping, we have some somniphobia. The answer is really the same. So how do we meet this situation? Well, we, we meet it the same way we meet really all other inner fears. Like when I say inner fears, I mean like when we're scared of something kind of inside us, some process inside of us, some emotions, some thought, you know, some mind state, something like that, when we have these inner fears. We, we meet, can meet them the same way. And I think the first step is really education. It's seeing that, you know, to to be afraid to sleep and to be awake is nothing strange or unusual. Like every single person that, you know, you've heard uh, left the struggle with insomnia, like we heard from Christian this week, has left both the fear to sleep, you know, and to be awake in, in the context of insomnia, right? So just knowing that there's nothing strange or unusual, really helpful. And same thing with somniphobia. It's, it's not strange that we can be become scared of the process of sleeping when we've been in this kind of mind state. Nothing strange or usual. Courage, I think, always helps. And courage can be kind of just to look inside, to see our emotions, to see our thoughts, to, to see that, oh, this is all fear. This is all fear-based, for example. And also, you know, courage to, to do things that we maybe have avoided. You know, that's really generally, I think, really helpful. And more than anything else, kindness, you know, when we... Uh, when we see that, you know, we're just human, we have emotions, we react certain ways, and then there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we don't criticize ourselves for how we react, how we think, how we feel, etc. I think that is so, so, so helpful. So again, education, career, and kindness leads to where we want to be, which is a place of peace of mind and peaceful sleep. And if you're finding your way to where you want to be, that is a wonderful thing. Please share it with us. Uh, share it in the comment section, or maybe you want to be a guest like Christian. It's always wonderful. Uh, on the other hand, if you're finding that it is difficult. You would like a little bit more support, guidance on your path to where you want to be. Then head over to our website, thesleepcoachschool.com, and check out our coaching options. If you decide to join us, and then we look forward to seeing you on the other side. With that said, hope you have a wonderful weekend and look forward to having you back here next week. Until then, bye-bye.